and welcome to Art Fashion Channel. I'm Daria, the artist who paints on clothes. And in this video, I'm gonna design and paint t-shirts in dark aesthetic. You know, it's a Halloween season and I want to make something Halloween inspired, but something not so much obvious. I don't want to paint pumpkins or ghosts or pets, like all these Halloween things. I don't want t-shirts like scream out, hey, we are Halloween t-shirts. I want them to be wearable in any season. Uh, so I want to make something dark, uh, but not too much dark, something creepy, but not too much creepy, something uh, which I, for example, can wear in any season and I don't like like very creepy t-shirts. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be kind of a challenge for me, uh, but I think I can make it. <laughs> so let's get started. And first I'm gonna paint white t-shirt because you couldn't see it on the thumbnail and I want to create darkness at the bottom of it and then something will get out of this darkness. To create this darkness at the bottom I'm gonna use textile dye and I'm gonna dip t-shirt in the bowl with a black color textile dye. You know, I've been using this technique of uh, dyeing clothes with textile dyes a lot recently because it's a very useful technique. Uh, before, for example, when I was trying to create a gradient, I used to use a uh, brush and fabric paints mixed with water and it takes a lot of time to dye clothes with a uh, brush. Uh, so uh, this technique, dyeing clothes with textile dyes, is very useful even though you don't have much control over dyeing. Sometimes the result is a bit unexpected, uh, but uh, it's not time consuming and I love it. I'm dying following the instruction uh, written on the textile dyes. Uh, all textile dyes are different, so if you want to dye clothes with textile dyes, just read instructions. I'm gonna fix uh, dyes with vinegar. Uh, you know, one of the viewers of my channel made this advice that I can uh, fix uh, dyes with vinegar, uh, so I'm gonna try it. And here is uh, the result of dyeing. And you know, I tried to create a smooth gradient, but it turned out a bit messy, but it's even for the better uh, because now this gradient has kind of a dark energy and you know all this process of dipping t-shirt into the bowl with the dark water remind me of some scary movie do you remember movie ring with this creepy girl getting out of the well with such hairs <laughs> And I thought that I can paint such girl getting out of this darkness, but it would be too creepy. And I want to create t-shirts which I can wear all the time, not only on Halloween. So I decided to paint just crows flying out of this darkness. And I think it will look very interesting. So let's paint them. And first I want to create a very quick sketch of crows, uh, the direction of their flight. I don't want to paint very realistic crows, they will be, you know, half abstract. And now I'm sketching uh, with pencil and t-shirt, uh, just a couple of lines to mark the position of crows. Now I outline with fabric marker so it will be easier for me to start painting.
and here are colors uh, fabric paint which I'm gonna use uh, mostly I'm gonna use black color fabric paint uh, but also a bit white uh, probably a bit blue and purple and let's paint I'm gonna use a big flat brush and big round brush uh, as I said I want to make crows a bit abstract and I want them to have a lot of energy dark energy so i'm gonna make uh, bold strokes and bold paint splatters and i already see that this gradient which i created uh, with textile dye uh, a bit too light in comparison with crows so i will have to fix it i will uh, mix fabric paint with water and apply second layer of paints And I want to make this gradient a bit more messy, <laughs> so I apply paint randomly, I make strokes, I make paint splatters. Well, the first t-shirt is finished and I love how it turned out. And now I'm gonna paint a second t-shirt, this time black t-shirt. And I want to increase a bit the level of creepiness, just a little bit. I want to make a bit more creepy t-shirt, but still t-shirt wearable in any season. So let's do it. And the idea is that there is some creepy forest and behind branches some monsters are hiding and these monsters will look like a mix of venom, a cat from the Alice in the Wonderland and a pumpkin in the dark. <laughs> so this way I will create Halloween inspired t-shirt but also dark and also wearable in any season. And first I'm sketching design with a piece of soap. And uh, three branches will start from the sleeve and then they will cover up most of the t-shirt. And all the monsters uh, will differ a bit from each other, uh, some with smile, some with eyes. And first I outline monsters with white fabric paint and at the same time I create undercoat for them. And I paint branches and to paint them I don't use pure white color but I mixed white color with a bit of blue and green colors because if you go to forest at, at night with lantern and you make a video there uh, trees will have such bluish greenish color.
and painting of branches is finished and I love how it turned out. And now I'm gonna paint monsters and I want their eyes to shine so I'm gonna use yellow and red colors to paint their eyes. Teeth I'm just making a bit lighter. And to make monster a bit more creepy, I decided to paint saliva. <laughs> And I'm fixing a couple of branches, which should cover up the monster face. You know, I tried to paint creepy faces, but they're kind of cute. <laughs> Two more monsters I have to paint, and I paint them the same way as I painted the first one. You know, I'm thinking now, should I add paint splatters or shouldn't I? But like paint splatters can never hurt the t-shirt. Well, I think I managed to create dark t-shirts, uh, Halloween inspired but wearable in any season. And as always guys, I ask you for your support, for your likes and comments. And if you are new here, of course, subscribe to my channel for more painting on clothes videos. And here is the final result.